For more than a week, we have been following this trial, and tonight our coverage continues with the verdict. Reporter John Carnelli went to Santa Fe for that ruling. Around 4 o'clock this afternoon, the jury coming down with a verdict, finding Rust Armor Hannah Gutierrez Reed guilty of involuntary manslaughter, but not guilty of tampering with evidence. After court today, we caught up with the defense, prosecution, and a juror. Here's what they had to say. You know, given the amount of evidence that they had to consider, three hours is, is a very quick uh, verdict. Members of the jury on day 10 reaching their verdict based on one single fact. Much is just that all the never did the safety checks, never checked the rounds to pull them out, to look at them, shake them. I mean, if you'd have done that, this wouldn't happen. Jury member Alberto Sanchez comparing Gutierrez Reed's lack of checking ammunition similar to how he has to be careful with what he does as a CDL driver. I, I have to check in my vehicle, make sure I'm not going to slam into people or do something like that. And that was her job to check those rounds, those firearms. After court, ABC News catching up with prosecutor Carrie Morrissey, who said it's hard to say she's pleased with the verdict. Nothing's ever going to bring Helena back to her family. Um, it was a it was a hard fought case, and um, we're glad that it's over, and we hope that it brings some closure to the Hutchins family. Gutierrez Reed's attorney Jason Bowles saying he respects the jury's decision, but he's disappointed. My sense was the evidence wasn't sufficient to convict, and it was a lot of guesswork and a lot of speculation. But again, the jury rendered its verdict, and we'll be appealing that. Sentencing for Gutierrez Reed is expected to happen in April. Our legal expert says she can face up to 18 months in prison. I'm John Cardinelli reporting KOAT Action 7 News.